hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class so we're having chemistry and today we're going to be looking at graham's law law of diffusion of gases so stated by thomas graham right who was born in the year 1805 right okay so uh, we have been treating what gas laws, right? And then we have seen a lot of gas laws. Today we are going to round off with Graham's law of diffusion of gases, was stated by what by Thomas Watt Graham. All right. So please do not forget that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the best CBT practice app available out there for your success in exam, the O3 Schools Jam app. It has been currently being displayed at the bottom of this video. Please, if you have not had that app on your phone right now, go to Play Store, download it activate it on your phone and begin to practice it has all the past question that you need for practice there's an exam mode there's a mock mode there's a practice mode right and several other wonderful features such as the question search feature that means you can search questions under a particular topic and those questions will come out for you what to see what else the utme challenge is a challenge where all jam students would participate to win wonderful prizes apart from winning prizes you see your score weekly it's a weekly challenge so you see your score weekly and then you are able to what to see your weaknesses you're able to improve on them right so a lot of wonderful features that uh this video may be too long if i continue what uh blowing the trumpet so let's get back to what you're doing make sure you get that app right now and download it so i'm looking at graham's law of diffusion of gases right and what does this law state right Graham's law of diffusion of gases. Write it. Let me write it out for clarity. Graham's law of diffusion of gases states that the relative rapidity of diffusion of of gases varies inversely varies inversely as the square root of their densities all right so graham's law of diffusion of gases say that the relative rapidity of diffusion of gases varies inversely as the square root of their what of their density or by extension or by extension their what relative molecular mass or molecular weights All right, so the definition is very, very, very easy, right? The Graham's law of diffusion of gases state that the relative rapidity of diffusion of gases varies inversely. Is the word inverse or proportion varies inversely as the square root, the square root of their what densities, or by extension, the square root of their relative molecular mass or their molecular weight this is the same thing as this right so now this is what graham's law states in simple terms in simple terms graham's law state that graham's law states that says that in simple terms says that the rate of diffusion of gases right is inversely proportional proportional to the square root to the square root of the densities all right very very easy all right so if you know that this first definition is too much for you to put on your head right just know that Graham's law said that the rate of diffusion of gas is the rate or diffusion of gases varies inversely as what at the square root of their what of their density. The rate of diffusion of gases is inversely proportional to the square root of their what of their densities. Right? Know that it's inversely proportional to the square root of their density or their what their relative molecular mass. So that we can say mathematically, mathematically, 
you see that what that rate of diffusion rate is inversely inversely proportional to square root of what of density right now or its rate is inversely proportional to the square root of what relative molecular mass so it's either the square root of what density or the square root of what of their relative molecular what mass so where where d is what is density then r is what rate of diffusion right r is what rate of diffusion y what d is what is density m is what molecular what mass but of course the rate of division itself as what a formula rate of division r is what the volume of the gas volume of gas divided by time taken to diffuse right time taken for the gas to diffuse so the rate of diffusion of itself as a formula which is what volume of what of gas by what time taking to what to diffuse right it's as simple as abc so from the law graham's law said that the rate of diffusion of gases is inversely you can see this is an inverse word proportionality inverse proportional to what square root square root this is square root not just d the square root of what of d and this is also equal to the square root of what of m all right so it's as simple as that the rate of diffusion is volume of the gas divided by what time taking to what to diffuse right so if i'm known this it means that what you know that what rate is inverse proportional to what density or inverse proportional to what to the relative molecular mass it's as simple as abc what is the unit for rate of diffusion the unit for rate of rate of, rate of diffusion is what centimeter cube per second or you say cm cube second per so it's either or this or you say cm cube seconds or per this is the unit for what for rate of diffusion very very easy not that what another thing you should note here is that the rate of diffusion here is directly proportional to the volume of the gas but inversely proportional to the time taken to what to diffuse right let me just write it out so that you see it clearly that the rate of diffusion is is directly proportional to the volume of the gas right but it's inversely proportional to the to the what to the time taking to what to diffuse right well we said that rate arrow is what uh, of what of gas all about what time taking time taking to diffuse right this is v v and this is what t and then the unit is now what c m q second part now as so i've seen clearly it means that what that r is equal to what v times what one over t if you can see volume times what one over what t this means that what arrow and v have a direct what relationship there's a direct what proportionality between what arrow and v but an inverse what relationship between what with t and what and r all right that's why we say that what that rate of diffusion here varies rate varies directly right as v but what but inversely as what at t so you must take note of that the rate of diffusion varies directly as the volume but what varies inversely as what as time time taken to diffuse this means that was with increase when what uh, the rate of diffusion increase volume will increase right they will increase together because they are that they have what a direct what relationship but of course once the rate of uh rate of what uh diffusion what decreases this means that what time taken to what to diffuse we also we what will now what increase because of the inverse what relationship when one is going up the other one will be going down when the other is going down the other will be going up but between arrow and v when arrow goes up v what we go up when arrow goes and v we what we go down because of what of the direct what relationship between arrow and v it's as simple as abc so please note here that rate of diffusion is directly proportional to what to the volume but what inverse proportional to the, for the to the what to the time taking to diffuse or for the gas what to diffuse now another important thing you should note is that two gases we have the same rate of diffusion two gases we have the same rate of diffusion if they have the same what molecular mass 
right so let's see for example if two gases have the same molecular mass right let's say let their molecular let the molecular mass of the two gases be what m1 and m2 m1 and m2 and then let the rate of diffusion arrow uh, between the two gases be arrow one and what and arrow two all right know that if they are their molecular mass if the molecular masses of the two gases are the same if the molecular masses of two gases are the same that means that what their density will also be, will be the same from graham's law right because we say graham's law say that the rate of diffusion of gases is inversely proportional to the square root of the density or the square root of what of the of the relative molecular masses all right that means that if m1 is equal to m2 right if their molecular mass is the same then that means their density will also what it will be the same all right so now we are proving that two gases having the same molecular mass we have what the same rate of diffusion so let's go on so if you say what r1 over what over r2 now is equals to m1 over what over m2 now since we say they have the same molecular mass this means that what that m1 is equals to what now m2 isn't it because they're having the same molecular mass so you can see say r1 over what over r2 is equals to what m1 over m1 so that will cancel out that means r1 over what over r2 is equals to one now for the rate of diffusion of two gases to be what to be equal to one it means that what both of them both r1 and r2 are the same isn't it for r1 over r2 to be one it means r1 if r1 is x r2 will be x right that means their rate of division will be the same right so we have been able to sufficiently prove that what the rate of division of what of two gases will be what will be the same if they have the same what molecular what mass so now when it comes to calculation under graham's law of diffusion what is a formula that is very important that you need to keep at the back of your head right apart from the mathematical explanation of this law is this thing i'm about to write down this is very useful it's very 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 useful to solve any question to smash any question to destroy any question under graham's law of diffusion but before i drop that formula please make sure that you have given this video a like right just do that button that looks like it below this video that like button just click on it but i'm just once click on it once please if i'm not subscribed subscription is free so is to is to what is to alert is to alert you when we publish a new video so click on that red subscribe button now now click on that red subscribe button and you see subscribe subscription is free just click on it right and do not forget to share this video to your friends to your class group to your to your to wherever to whoever you think you need this this video right so let's get on to that so i said that arrow one over what over arrow two rate remember i'll say rate is what inversely proportional to time will be equal to what now to be equal to what t2 over what over t1 right if i say what look at what we have to say t2 over t1 here yeah, because it's inversely proportional there's an inverse relationship between what rate and what and time that's why if you say r1 over what of r2 and you say t1 over what over t2 it will be wrong it will be wrong because what there's an inverse relationship that means that what t2 will need to come up right why t1 what will come down right that's why i say r1 over r2 is equal to t2 over t1 and then it's equal to square root of what now square root of density d2 over what over d1 we are using d2 over d1 again because rate of division is inversely proportional to the what to the square root of density and this is also because of what square root of what m2 over what square root of what m1 so it's as simple as abc this law this uh, formula this simple formula here yeah, if you know it on your head right you have solved you'll be able to solve any question under graham's law of diffusion why because what these variables anyone any question they set for you you just pick the variable that is applicable here and you solve the question with it it's as simple as abc so i'm going to fast forward this part now as i drop down a question and we solve together all right let's hit that play button we have a question before us right it's a given that the rate of diffusion of a gas x is 200 centimeter cube second power so solution we're giving rate of diffusion rate of diffusion to be equal to what now 200 centimeter cube second power or per second right what volume of x will take a whole day time taking 
a given what time taken to diffuse through the orifice is what is 24 what hours isn't it it's not a whole day a day is what is 24 hours so we cannot leave because our unit because the unit of the rate of diffusion is in centimeter cube per second then we need to convert this hour to what to second to second will be what 10 60 that will be to me then 10, another 60 for second so i'm going to have uh this in second this will be time taken to to, to, to to diffuse through the orifice in seconds this one is in hours a whole day is 24 hours in minutes is 24 times 60 in seconds is times another 60 that's what i have in this all right so now by what they say what volume of x what is rate of diffusion you know that rate of diffusion we have seen earlier the rate of diffusion is what is the volume of gas divided by what now time taken to diffuse all right so we know this formula from uh the earlier definition or the mathematical representation of graham's law of diffusion so now rate is given that means 200 is equal to volume is not known v over what is time 24 times 60 times 60 all right that means that v if you cross multiply v will be equal to 200 times 24 times 60 times 60 this will give us 1728 uh centimeter watt cube all right now this will be our what our volume but if i converted this to dm cube this is in cm cube to dm cube v because of what now 17280 dm cube all right so it's as simple as abc so no your formulas no that relationship r1 over r2 is equal to what t2 over t1 is equal to square root of d2 over d1 is equal to square root of what m2 over what over square root of what m1 so you must know this relationship all right so that is where we're going to round up our topic on gas loss all right so in our next video in our next episode we, got, we are going to watch check into another topic and again thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next class